All right, so we are going to use the Laplace transform to solve an integral that has an exponential in it. The idea is that uh, I've got an integral in the following form. So it looks like something, uh, some exponential times some function. In this case, it's e to the minus w times w. And I want to show that the solution of this particular integral is minus t e to the minus t minus e to the minus t plus 1. But I want to use it show this using Laplace transform. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, first thing I need to do is rewrite this in a way to make it look like a convolution. So using the property of the exponentials, I'm going to multiply by 1 in a clever way. Multiply by 1 as in e to the minus t times e to the t. And the e to the t, because it's not a function of w there, I can slide it in. In this case, I want to slide in the e to the t. And I'm going to focus on the integral itself. Now the integral itself now has the fo form of uh, e to the t minus w times w. The w is going to be my function g for that I'm going to use in my uh, convolution. And the other thing that's left over looks like a function of t minus w. So that I'm going to call f. So that's some function of t minus w called f. The other thing is just so some function of w. I'm going to call that g. And now, if you ignore that exponential out front, the integral itself is a convolution. And it's a convolution of f star g. And in this case, f is going to be uh, the exponential of the argument. So that's just e to the t. And the thing that's remaining is just the identity function. Given w, it's w. So I'm going to call that g of t is equal to t. And my original expression, that original integral now, can be e to the minus t times the convolution of f star g. And I'm going to focus on f star g. And I'm going to use Laplace transforms to figure out what f star g is. And then when I'm all done, I can just multiply by e to the minus t to get the value of the original integral. So from the convolution theorem, the Laplace transform of f star g is just the Laplace transform of f times the Laplace transform of g. And the uh, Laplace transform of an exponential is 1 over s minus 1. Laplace transform of t is 1 over s squared, so I get this expression. And I'm going to break it out using partial fractions. So I do my partial fraction expansion, and I just need to figure out what a, b, and c is. So I multiply through by s squared times s minus 1, and I get the numerator on the left is 1 is equal to a times s times s minus 1 plus b times s minus 1 plus c times s squared. And now I need to figure out what the constants a, b, and c are. So I'm going to make a clever choice for s. I'm going to say, oh, let's let s, not a, s. And I'm going to let s equal 1. And I plug that in, and I get that c is equal to 1. And I'm going to say, oh, let's let s equal 0. And if I do that, I'm going to get that b is equal to minus 1. Now, uh, I've got to figure out what the heck c is. C. Uh, well, c is the coefficient on s squared. On the left, there's no s squared coefficients, so the coefficients of s squared on the right have to add up to zero, and that's just a squ s squared plus c s squared is zero, so a has to be equal to minus c or minus one. So I now have the Laplace transform of my convolution is equal to one over sorry minus one over s minus one over s squared plus one over s minus one, and I can take the inverse Laplace transform of that to find out that my convolution. Whoops, says f star g is going to be minus 1 minus t plus e to the t. And now my original integral was e to the minus t times that convolution. So I just multiply through the whole thing by e to the minus t. And so my original integral then is e to the minus t times the convolution. And I, when I multiply that through, I get the expected result. Minus e to the minus t minus t e to the minus t plus 1. And I'm very happy about that.